Let's learn how to create and fulfill NDC order. NDC content is available through Air Shopping in Saber Red 360. To access Air Shopping, click on Command Helper and select Air. Under Air Shopping tab, start typing Departure City or Airport Name. Now, add Arrival City or Airport Code. Click Add via to include or exclude specific connecting airport for the itinerary. Click Remove via to close this field. Type a date or click in this field to open a calendar to select travel dates. Click the arrow beside the plane icon and select Departure or Arrival. Click the arrow beside to select a flight time if required. The default response view provides for round-trip travel. Click the minus sign for a one-way trip. Click the plus sign to add another flight segment. Departure and arrival city or airport codes are auto-populated for return trip. Type or select the date for return trip from the calendar. Open the popover by pressing enter in this field. The number of adult passengers can be updated here. Let's add one child and one infant passenger without seat. Click outside or use escape key to close the pop-up. Select the option either to include or exclude specific airline. Select include or only and choose the desired cabin from the drop-down menu. Select desired number of stops from the list. Air Shopping combines flight availability and pricing for Sabre low-cost carriers and NDC content into a single display allowing you to search flights from different sources in one request. To see the advanced qualifiers applicable for NDC search, choose the fair source. Select the option, exclude fair source. Choose exclude Sabre fares. Now, only the qualifiers applicable for NDC search are available for selection. Select the desired qualifiers from the list. Now click the Shop Airfare button to launch a search. Up to 200 offers are returned by NDC. You can filter search results by different options. Sortation is also available by different options. Default search results are sorted by price. Click here to make the changes in flight search form, as and when required. Flight details are displayed here. You can view the fare breakdown for each passenger by hovering over the fare amount. Click on Fair Amount to view complete flight information, including terminal number, baggage, equipment, etc. You can also access fare description for different fare basis and passenger types. Carbon emission details are visible here, and seat map can also be viewed. Seat selection is restricted at this point as no passengers added in the PNR. To view detailed fare rules, click on the green icon on the right side of the screen. Here, we have duplicate fare codes. Let's choose the first one and click Display Rules. The passenger type code can be selected from here. The fare rules should be checked for each fare basis. Scroll down and select Category 16 to check Penalties Rule. All the penalty details are displayed on the right side of the screen. Now click on the Select Offer tab to proceed. Here is the offer time limit for 20 minutes. After that the offer will expire and you will need to reshop. This time limit is provided by the airline to fulfill ticketing with this price. The baggage allowance details are available here for each passenger. Base fare details are available here. And taxes are displayed for each passenger. Here is the total fare for each passenger. Click Create Order tab. This is where we will provide passenger details. Traveler details must match government-issued ID. Let's add the details for adult passenger. Additional information such as frequent flyer, passport, visa, secure flight details, and name reference can also be provided from here. Let's add passport details for the adult passenger.
Here we will add the details for child passenger. Let's add the passport details for child passenger. Now we will add the details for infant without seat. Infant is already associated with adult traveler, let's add the passport details for infant. Now, we will add mandatory contact information for all the passengers. Let's add the airline notification contact, which is optional. Agency email address can be added here. Once the form is completed, click on Create Order. Following successful order creation, you will receive a Sabre order ID. To save the changes and return a Sabre record locator, end and retrieve the transaction using trip summary. NDC order is created. Traveler information can be either displayed or added using these options. Itinerary details are available here. Price quote can be viewed here. Click here to view more details for each passenger. You can view all the remarks. To add new remark, click here. Fulfilled orders will be displayed here. You can also view the history of NDC order. The next step to fulfill the NDC order. Click on Workflows. And select the workflow to fulfill NDC order. It cannot be fulfilled using native commands. For multi-passengers, all air tickets must be fulfilled at the same time as they belong to the same order. Ancillaries such as paid seat can be fulfilled separately. Both cash and credit card form of payments are supported. Now, click on NDC Fulfill Order. Once fulfillment is completed, you will be presented with a confirmation and ticket number. Click on Display Tickets. To view more details, click on the drop-down. Now, click on Ticket Receipt. To print this page, click here. Click on Manual Command tab to view the classic PNR. Type asterisk with letter A to display all the elements of the PNR. Type asterisk with letter T to display ticketing fields. Ticket order details are displayed here. Native commands are not supported to display NDC ticket order in classic PNR. To view NDC audit trail report, select Extended Sales Report from Workflows menu. Choose the date of NDC order issuance. Select the settlement type as NDC. Now, click on Search. All the fulfilled NDC orders are displayed here. Let's open the trip summary. Ticketed NDC orders are displayed here as well.